It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Really, really excited for this beer. It's our collaboration with Brewery the Doctor Van der Corner. It's their memoir for Malong Atroz. It's a barrel age hoppy and blonde beer coming in at 6.5% ABV. A lot of you would have seen the video of me blending beer with Ronald. I had a fantastic time with Ronald driving his Beetle and um, we just had a really good few days together in Belgium and Holland. Um, sorry if I'm a bit rigid in this review. I'm not kind of moving around as much as I normally would. I, I've damaged my back. I've, I've done my back in. Um, you're not here for the sob story though. Are you? You're here for the beer. So uh, I'm just going to get on with it. Here's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Three to four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation, a nice hazy looking beer, very 2019 is a hazy beer looks terrific yeah I'm just really, I'm just, well the smile says it all, I'm just really excited to get into this hazy amber colour, aroma It's got a bit of a farmhouse funk to it. Lots of wood barrel. Nice levels of carbonation, which I can hear more than smell. And what's really exciting about the beer is that Ronald is this like blending expert. We were, it was the first time for me ever to blend. I brewed many a collaboration around the world. First time I ever blended and I learned so much that day. I really did. We, we took some beer from barrels. We, we, we kind of put them in the, in the glasses and then we started, then we had to name the glasses uh, where the where the barrels come from, the, the the glasses of the beer were there, and we were just kind of like tipping a small amount into into a different glass, and and just just coming up with something that was superb. The beers. This is the difficult thing about blending, though. If you barrel age a beer, they generally kind of nigh on. Well, especially Ronald's beer, the brewery, the Doctor Van der Corner. They were all terrific. And the thought of blending these beers to make them better, it was mind boggling. And I, I, again, I mentioned it again, I don't mind. I learned a lot. You, you will never stop learning in the brewing industry. There is always somebody out there at their corner of the, of the field who have really kind of mastered what they, what they do. And I believe Ronald has mastered the art of blending and it was a fantastic, knowledgeable day for me at the brewery. But enough talk. Should we dive in? It's kind of got like a raspberry flavour in it as well. Raspberry, vanilla, there's oak, there's a woodiness, there's some raisin. Maybe a bit of plum. Gonna dive in. Horse blanket. Cheers. I wish it wasn't so rigid. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a fabulous, fabulous beer. Of course, I don't want to be just standing here stoning the Crows because I was involved in this brew. That would be completely ridiculous. That would be a complete pack of lies. And I would, I would never kind of, it's not in my interest to 
overinflate a beer that I was involved with because you guys can get hold of it. You guys can buy it and you guys can try it and you, you guys can make your own mind up on this beer. I really want you guys to go out and try this beer. A lot of you, a lot of the people out there watching Brewery the Dr. Van der Karna, you've, you've all heard of this brewery. I imagine that I would say 90% of my following have heard of the Dr. Van der Karna. They're, they've got a fantastic name, a prestigious name in brewing. And at this stage of the review, I'd like to say that I'm just so very proud um, to have had the opportunity to brew with such a prestigious brewer. It was really, it was really cool. It was really cool and I feel like, do you know you, you take steps in life, you, you take steps to the next stage in life. I honestly feel that by brewing this beer with this particular brewery, it's like I've leveled up. It's like I've played some old fashioned 70s arcade game and I've leveled up. I feel like What am I trying to say? Nothing really. Let's just let's just carry on reviewing the beer and I'll get to that in a moment. There's this like dry pear like flavour to begin with. Then there's horse blanket, then there's a touch of barrel, maybe some red wine barrel, something like that, maybe red wine, maybe there's vanilla, there's some plum fruits coming through, even more horse blanket. It, it slightly reminds me of a Saison, but it's more sophisticated than a Saison. And then it has this wonderful bitterness on the back end. I imagine, I imagine they've mentioned hoppy and blonde. I imagine Ronald has, has dry hopped this beer when he's eventually got it out of the bar barrel um, just before he put it into the bottles. I imagine he's somehow found a way of dry hop in the beer. But have a look at that now. Now I've emptied the rest of the sediment. It's a bottle conditioned beer. You can see the little bits of sediment in the bottom of the bottle. That looks wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You go to any of the the, the, the funky, fresh, kind of sought after breweries and they're all brewing hazy beer. America, UK, Belgium, even the Germans, the Polish, they're all brewing hazy beer. But what makes me smile is the fact that the Belgians, they're not, it's not new for them to be brewing hazy beer. They've been brewing hazy beer as well as long as the Germans have for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Great stuff. Great stuff. I want to go back. I've been thinking while I've been speaking, I want to go back to what I was talking about leveling up. Um, when I was speaking, I was, I was almost like, Cringing, you know that. Do you know when you start a conversation, you start to speak, and you wish you could stop? I get it all the time. Um, I wanted to stop halfway through that kind of sentence. In fact, I, I did stop towards the end of the sentence because I just felt like that I was like bigging myself up, and I don't want to big myself up. What I'm what I'm trying to do here is is I've changed my wording, I've changed my, what I meant to say was I feel like I've leveled up in knowledge. I've leveled up in knowledge in terms of brewing collaboration beers with, with, with brewers around the world. I don't feel like I'm at, at the beginning anymore, at the start line. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I've got some good traction and, and I'm learning all of the time. I found what I wanted to say whilst I was speaking. Um, terrific beer, absolutely wonderful beer. I wish I could dance around the kitchen a little bit more. Um, I was, I've been boarding out, plasterboarding. I don't know if you guys know plasterboarding. They're like eight by four sheets of plasterboard. I've been dotting and dabbing. Um, 
you know the little conservatory thing I got going on. I'm kind of like this, whether to build an, a, a studio out there. The sound's not great because um, of the glass roof. So I've added, it's a bit echoey for the, for the camera. So I've plasterboarded the bottom half of the wall with dot and dab. And of course the plasterboard came, they left it in my hallway. I picked it up and bang, my back went. It's an old injury. Um, I, it doesn't happen to me a lot, but I first did it, believe it or not, as an 18 year old, 20, 22 years ago now, um, sweeping. The first time I did it, I was sweeping. So I had the sweeping brush, I pushed it forward and bang, the base of my back went, little twinge, got worse. And it's been a weak point ever since. So just yesterday, picked up this plasterboard, bang, my back goes and I was in bed today. I've dragged myself out of bed because, because I want to get this beer review done. Um, thank you so very much to the Dr. Van der Coroner for inviting me over. Uh, Ronald, Monica, the family, wonderful, wonderful hospitality, wonderful, wonderful place, wonderful, wonderful beer. Rating. Memoir for, I keep a row of my collaborations on the top shelf of my living room. I've got a big row of them now. This is gonna be right at the front, right at the front of my collaborations. Not, not kind of poo-pooing the rest of my collaborations. I seem to be digging myself in a hole tonight. Perhaps it's the co-codum I take to fix, fix my back. Um, I don't mean to dig myself in a hole, but I'm really proud of this beer. I'm really proud of this beer, and I'm gonna stick it at the front, the very front of my collaboration shelf up there for people to see. I'm really happy with this beer. Um, it's a wonderful blend. Look at that, it's kept its head all the way down. Great carbonation, chasing that head up the glass. Great lacing, great look to the beer, great aroma. Fantastic taste. You guys need to go out and try it for yourself, see what you think. For me, I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Low Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!